reading and receiving TSCT email messages. Once you get your email uh, application up and running, um, we remember that we type HTTPS colon slash slash mail dot to do that from either on campus or off campus. And another thing we remember is our email address, which is our username at stevenscollege.edu. We remember our username is first initial, middle initial, last name for students, and it's just the last name for instructors, unless two people on campus have the same last name. Anyway, we're really interested in reading and receiving email messages. And with this window up here, we'll uh, talk about a couple things that we have here. First off, on the left-hand side of the window, you have um, a lot of folders, and these can be expanded or not. I'm clicking on this little uh, arrow to expand my inbox, and I have multiple folders connected in there. We talked about some of the folders with the deleted items and things like that before. Back to messages themselves. Uh, pretty easy to read a message. The messages show up on the window on the right hand side. If I double click a message, it will open it up and I can read it. You'll notice that any pictures that are in here might not uh, show up. If I click this little area, it will make the pictures show up. That has to do with uh, trying to cut down on the viruses that come in email messages. To close an email message, I just close it. You'll notice that on my window, some of my messages are bold and some are just normal uh, typeface. The bold ones are new messages that I received that I haven't opened yet. Um, pretty easy to do. The other thing that you can do is arrange the way that your messages appear. And there's a lot of options to do that. I'm not going to cover all of them. But if you look up here, you can filter messages by sent who carbon copied you, whether they are unread, the, the category, who were they were from, or you could view them in two different modes, one called conversation mode and one just in normal message mode. So you can experiment with those on your own as you have time. Um, the attachments to messages are the next things that I want to deal with. You can see this file on the top that says attached file. You'll notice it has a little paper clip over on the left hand side. If I want to read this message, I double click on it and the message comes open for me. I don't really have any text in this message, but the attachments that I have are up here on the top of the message. And if I double click on one of these, and I shrink my thing down a little bit, um, that message will open. It's a little crazy with the size that it came up, but that's where the attachments are. If you right click on an attachment, you can save it and have it on your USB drive or wherever you want to do. So reading an attachment is just as easy as reading a message. You just click a different place uh, once you open the file and it's and it's there. Okay, you should be able to read messages, see the content. Here's another message. I'll double click that so it opens up. You can see there's a link in here. I could click on that. I'm going to close the message so you know how to read them. Notice that that message now is no longer bold because I read it. Other interesting thing, especially if you have cell phones, is this inbox over here. And if I right click on the inbox, I can do all kinds of things with folders. The one exciting thing I can do is create a new folder. So if I click create new folder and I just say test there, I created a folder called test and right now they're double clicked in there. There are no messages in there. I'm going to click back on the inbox. I notice this attach file that I make. If I take this and drag this, I can drag it right into the test folder and it's stored in there. Going to double click to come back to the inbox. Why would you ever want to do this? 
Uh, you can arrange email messages that you want to save for specific purposes. And this works real well when you go home to your cell phone. Um, on your cell phone, it's a little harder to find a lot of messages. So arranging them in folders works pretty well. So you know how to easily, by the way, you can select multiple files like this, and I could drag those over here and put those in those folders too. And for some reason or other, if I got something in test that I didn't want, I could go to test. I could drag it back to the inbox and the message would be out of there. So you can really move the things uh, around pretty easily. You can see emails fairly easy to use. There are a lot of options which I'll let you explore on your own. One last thing. Notice that probably best to sign out and you do that by clicking on this little sign out message when you're done with email and that will sign you out so that uh, no one else can get into your account like say you walk away from your your computer or something that's about it have fun experimenting